2024 season is starting a little earlier today. We're in Silver Dollar City. Alabama appears to be open, and it'll be the first one of the day. So let's go. We literally started with the Zen ride on this masterpiece right here. Alla Run was running really, really good today, despite being the only one on the train. The first inversion, which is somewhere back there, really solid. The double barrel roll at the end was good. Ejector all over the place. Overall, phenomenal way to start the day here in Silver Dollar City. two more times once more in the front and i did second to back and this thing is unbelievable it's in my top 10 overall for a reason and i don't see it being knocked out by harley Day. a couple rides in on Outlaw Run. I'm gonna check out the line for the new fire in the hole because that'll be a new credit I'll be getting on. Having soft open, I think, last week. And if it isn't horrible, I might try and get on it. Otherwise, I'm gonna go up and ride Time Traveler because I know that line will build up. My brother was up there. He said they're running two trains and the line's already down to the first level, but I don't think it's through all of it. So it might be a risky move checking new fire in the hole, but I wanna go take a look at it. Also, I'm gonna get my initial thoughts on how the whole area looks on the way up to Time Traveler because I think you pass by there to get there, which I don't know where that area is because obviously it's new to me, but I haven't seen Powder Keg Run, Wildfire. I saw it testing earlier, but it looked like it was crawling, so I'll check back there later. I haven't seen where the new fire in the hole is yet, so I'll have to go find my way over there. Traveler's line, it was decently long, same with Thunderation. Powder keg, I guess, just opened. This thing is hardly alive, so we're taking advantage of it. And uh, are they assigning rows? I don't know if they are. I'm taking advantage of it and going for the front row. Yes, I am risking the breakdown, but it's worth it for the front row, so let's do it. <laughs>
was top notch, the air time throughout the ride, especially on the Swiss Hill, which is probably somewhere by the trail, you might kind of see it through there. Here comes about to launch. There it goes. I forgot what it was like to ride a launch coaster, so that felt really nice. run again because it's apparently running a lot faster the line's still short so let's do it time traveler. I had really high expectations for this after how good Outlaw Run and Powder Cake were running. Let me just say, everything that could have gone wrong with that ride did go wrong. The back car is facing forwards almost the whole ride. It was so disappointing. I have never had such a disappointing ride on this ride. So, I don't know, man. That was not good. Never thought I would say the back car on this ride was disappointing, but here we are. Rocker and oh.
was okay. I couldn't really find a standout moment on that ride this time around. I don't even know if I had a favorite part last time, but I don't know, it just didn't really do anything for me this time. And again, it was early in the season, so. I bet if I come over the summer, I'll be running a lot faster, but as of now, wildfire is, eh, it's all right. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm doing American Plunge. If you guys saw The Boys in Silver Dollar City, which is the vlog I shot with Ryan Scott and Ellis at the park back in July, you may recall that I wrote the saying, I think, 10 times because it was ridiculously hot out. Even though it's not exactly hot out today, I think it's like in the 60s or something here in Branson, it's not exactly ideal weather for riding this vlog film, especially since this one's a soaker from what I remember. So this was gonna be awesome. Made it into the brand new fire district section here at Silver Dollar City. I think I saw the building for the new fire in the hole because I'm gonna go check the line. And from what I could tell, that building was massive. Like, I could see it from Outlaw Run. It was a big old building. So, we're gonna go try and uh, get on it if the line isn't horrible. Otherwise, we might go try Time Traveler again. Briefly saw the new fire in the hole, like the whole entrance for it, whatnot, and it looked really good. But the ride was unfortunately down right now. So, I guess we're gonna go over towards Outlaw Run, maybe ride that again, and also get some better shots of it. And then maybe go over and get more footage of Powder Keg. And also, there's some area back behind Time Traveler I got some footage of last year, but the trees were grown in. So, a lot of the that was hidden. As of right now, the layout from those vantage points to my knowledge is exposed. So I'm gonna head up that way after a while here. <laughs>
Definitely my left side. Those, but for today, time travel was better in the front. Then again, the back row right I got earlier was literally the worst that could have possibly have been. It was like probably any rotating, so it wasn't exactly much of a high bar to clear, but it was still good to get an actually good ride on time travel this time. Now I'm gonna ride Thunderation because that is the last of the major coasters besides Fire in the Hole that I haven't done today yet. No, I'm good. Jank is real with Thunderation. That was not a very smooth ride experience at all. Especially in the tunnel, there was one pothole that was very uncomfortable. So that's a one and done for today.
over there is where the old fire in the hole used to be. I don't know if I've talked about that in this vlog yet or not, but it's kind of sad to see that whole area blocked off. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but American Plunge, I did not get that white on earlier, so overall not too shabby. <laughs> weight right now when it was projected to be absolutely packed today and it is this is absolutely insane so you know darn well i'm getting a second ride on this because my first ride today was phenomenal <laughs> Just as good now as it was earlier today. That launch was awesome. The bus of fuss section was incredible. Good airtime. Overall a blast. We got, I don't know, about 40 minutes until the park closes for the day. So what I'm gonna try and do, get a front row ride on Wildfire, then go get one more ride on Outlaw to finish off today. And I think it's possible because I checked the app and it said Wildfire is a five minute wait. So let's go see if we can do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
We got three minutes till the park closes as when I'm recording this and they're making everyone leave the station now So I guess I'll review my ride count and report back as to what I did ride count from my day here at Silver Dollar City was four on Outlaw Run, two on Powder Cake, Time Traveler, and Wildfire, and then one on American Plunge and Thunder Ration. Overall, today was a really solid day, including some awesome rides on Powder Cake and Outlaw Run. And even though one of my rides on Time Traveler and Wildfire were underwhelming, my other ride on Time Traveler and Wildfire were amazing. So let's jump to day number two, I guess, because I'll be here for some time tomorrow. It is day two, and I'm only gonna be here for a few hours today. Before I go to Outlaw Run, I'm gonna ride Powder Keg. The opposite zero minute wait. So let's head over there and make that my first ride of the day. You really can't go wrong with this SNS Air Launch Coaster, other than the fact that the section after the drop off the lift hill is rather short. But that's okay because I still got some good forces on it with the airtime going into the turn, and then I started to gray out a little bit on the turn as well. Since the line is still pretty much a station wait, I might as well go for round two because riding this coaster multiple times in a row with a short line is something you don't get to do very often. So we're taking advantage of it and doing round two on Powder
the wait time in front of uh, Al Run set. It looked like it was like either zero, five, or six. Yeah, it's a walk on. So we're definitely going to get some laps in on this. I'm going to try and do, I think, six rides to put me up to an even total of 10. And then I might go do something different. Maybe check new fire and pumps. I do want to ride that. But if I don't get on it this time, I'll get on it next time I'm here. I do have season pass here for this year. Damn, as you board the stage, come there. There's some rows on the train. You want to hop on in for in your back. It's the seat. Fire in the front. My ride up front today was not as good as my ride up front yesterday, but I will say it beats my ride in the back yesterday. It will mean I grayed out quite a bit, which is nice. Other than that, it was still a solid ride. Took on flooded mine, and I did better than I thought I would, even though it's not an easy shooting dark ride by any means. It was still nice to get on one of those, especially since my local dark ride of Justice League Battle for Metropolis hasn't opened for the year yet. So I'm gonna do this one more time, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might go ride time travel, which actually, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, my back car ride just a little bit ago was insane. Not spinning a whole lot, but we were facing East of the Elements in the best position possible. So, like the Twisted Hill, I was facing more than it got yawned backwards and front flip the zero G roll. And actually, since I was a row seven i dropped out of the station while facing federation which actually was going through a telix which was really cool Silver Dollar City with another awesome ride on Time Traveler. And I will say that I do think it was the least of the three rides I had on today. It was still a good way to end the day. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have ended the way of my first ride on it yesterday, but I'm glad it did. So I'm going to review my ride count and I will share that with you guys when I find out what it is. For today's ride count, it was four on Outlaw Run, three on Time Traveler, two on Powder Cake and Flooded Mine, and then one on Wildfire. As for my total ride count over both days, I will take a look at that and see what I did. final ride count over both days. Eight on Outlaw Run, five on Time Traveler, four on Powder Keg, three on Wildfire, two on Flooded Mine, and one on Thunderation and American Plunge. This trip was an awesome start to the 2024 season, and in terms of highlights, Powder Keg was running phenomenal. Obviously, I gotta mention Outlaw Run being a phenomenal way to start the year. This is actually my first time starting the season not at my home park since I think 2020, since I was in Frontier City after the pandemic. Even though I did not get to ride the new fire in the hole, it was down a lot of the time, and when it was open, it had an hour plus wait every time. So, that could have been better, but hey, I'll get on next time. Before you click on this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else we know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well. I'll be the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.